Greetings world we are anonymous. As most of you are aware, the operation taking place against the Momo challenge has already yielded some results. The Japanese artist who made the Momo character has agreed to destroy their artwork that contains the Momo character. Keep in mind the artist does not want their artwork used in any way that could harm anyone. Now for the next phase of our operation. The online service known as WhatsApp is under office on notice from the anonymous collective. Either you eliminate the Momo challenge app from your servers, or we will have to take action. We will not allow any more innocent children be harmed by this kind of sadistic manipulation and absolute negligence. What? App. You have been warned. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. United as one, and divided by none, expect us. Now at 4.30, a new online game that's become a huge concern for parents. The images of the game are disturbing enough, and parents say it's now trying to control their kids' minds. This is what it looks like. It's called the Momo Challenge, and it targets kids through social media to engage in dangerous activities. NBC 10's Tim Furlong spoke with a child psychologist about the conversation you need to have with your children about this dangerous game. At one point it was eating Tide Pods, the newest thing, the Momo Challenge. Momo stabs you with a knife when, when you're sleeping on night. This New Jersey boy understandably upset when a classmate told him he'd better do what Momo says or he'd be killed. It's an online cyberbullying thing through Facebook and WhatsApp. Targeted at kids and teenagers, the messages tell you to do things, some simple, some more violent. They say you need to show photo proof that you did it or kids are told Momo is going to kill them. A couple suicides in other countries have reportedly been linked to Momo her avatar by itself very frightening. A school district in North Jersey sent a letter home to parents about this. The Cape May Police Department now has a warning on its Facebook page. Preemptively addressing something with your kid is always better. Dr. Megan Walls is a pediatric psychologist. She says it might be a good idea to gently ask your younger kids if they know about this. So something like, you know, there's some scary things that pop up on phones and tablets and if you ever see something like that, come get me. And for your older kids, well, maybe get them to promise they'll talk to you about the Momo challenge if it's sent to them. It's not realistic to simply take their phone away, but let them know this is cyberbullying, it's potentially dangerous, and that you're trusting them to let you know what's going on. Especially as kids get older and they're teenagers, they want some of that autonomy and they deserve some of that autonomy as long as they can show you they're responsible enough. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.